What is the percent composition of CABr2? So we know the mass of Ca is 40. The mass of each Br is about 80. So the total mass of this would be 80 times 2 plus 40. So that's 200. So that's our total mass. Now we'll find the percents of each. So calcium is going to be 40 out of 200, which is the same thing as 1 fifth. That's 20%. So we're done. If you want to check, you could also do 160 out of 200, which would also get you 80% BR. This is the CA. Either way, we get choice B. This is what you would expect if you saw a question like this. The numbers should work out pretty reasonably. Here we've got two weighed samples, and we want to know the total mass. This is a significant figures type issue. Uh, I'd be surprised if you were to see something like this um, on the modern test. Sig fig is just not much of a thing anymore on subject tests, but you know it's possible, I suppose. So the trick when we add numbers together, and we want to preserve the right number of significant figures, what we do is let's first add these up. So 3.719.42. So we'll add this up, so we get 9, 3, 1, and then carry the 1. We get 4.139. So here's the deal. You would keep the number of significant figures equal to the fewest number of decimal points. That's how it works when you add numbers. So here, I've got three decimal points here, and I've got two decimal points here. So that means my answer is going to have the fewest number of decimal points that I have in my original numbers, which is 2. So that means I'm going to slice it here. And don't forget to round. So this rounds to 4.14, and that would be what you, your total would be uh, once you've accounted for the sig figs. So for 62, we get D. This number 63 has a typo in it, so I apologize for that. This should not be negative 9. Actually, I'm guessing it should be... Actually, is this double typo? What is this? It's a little bit hard to read. I apologize. But okay, so let's just let's just get the answer and then we'll we'll go from there. So we want to know if something has a pH of nine, what is its H plus concentration? So we know that the minus log of the H plus concentration is equal to pH. So if you reverse that, the H plus concentration, if you raise both sides as a power of 10, will be equal to 10 to the negative pH. And so here because the pH is 9, we're going to get 10 to the minus 9, or 1 times 10 to the minus 9. And so that's why the answer is E. I know A looks like it. I actually don't know what that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be negative 3, maybe? I don't know. Anyway, the answer is E. Don't worry about if you got this one wrong because there's problems with the thing. As long as you understand how to get this, that's all that matters. So this one would be choice E. Now going into 64, the graph shows the variation of reactants, concentrations of H2 and I2 form HI. Equilibrium is reached when the concentration of HI is what? So we want to know when does this reach equilibrium? And we can see over time the amount of H and I is going down, H2 and I2, while the amount of the compound HI is increasing. This is because as H2 and I2 react, they disappear and they form into the HI. So that's why the concentration of HI increases. And where you're looking for equilibrium is when the amounts of them, the concentrations, become constant. They no longer change because you have as much H2 and I2 turning into HI as you have HI turning back into H2 and I2. This is your, this is the chemical reaction in play. And so at equilibrium, you're going to have um, as much HI going back into reactants as reactants to products. So the relative amounts of these guys, their concentrations will be constant. And that happens where the lines go flat. So where does HI reach its equilibrium concentration? Well, that'll be at E, because that's when it's flat. 